it just screams me. I love it so much. My video's not there. I read that it was supposed to sprout from the top, so I'm not too sure. I think I'm gonna clean my fridge. Hi everyone, welcome back to another vlog. I hope you all had a very lovely Easter weekend. It is Tuesday today. And I woke up at about 7.30, had my breakfast, coffee, and I also edited a video for an hour. And now I'm about to do my workout. I'm following the Bloglotties calendar. If you guys are interested, I will leave it down below. I love the fact that it's already scheduled for you. I don't even have to think. And each day is dedicated to a different area of your body. So for example, today is bum day. So I'm going to go work on my bum. Uh, today for me is a very computer heavy day. I have a lot to catch up on, but hopefully the rest of the week will be a bit more exciting for you guys. thought I would do a little plant update for you guys. As you would have seen in my last vlog, I did lots of gardening. I can link it here if you'd like. And so far, the zucchinis, those are the zucchinis there. They're going crazy. I'm really happy about that. And I planted them like three days ago, I think. And nothing else has sprouted. These are all the ones that I planted a couple of weeks ago. So eggplant, strawberry, so it's charred. But my avocado seed has sprouted from the bottom. I don't know if that's good. I, I read that it was supposed to sprout from the top, so I'm not too sure. I'm so hungry after my workout. I couldn't even wait till lunch. It is 11 o'clock and I made myself lunch slash brunch. I just made myself some scrambled eggs with lots of veggies and an avocado toast. So I just sat down at my computer. I'm going to get editing. You guys know I'm really into astrology and I have this app called CoStar and I read my horoscope every day. But something that I like to do is read it at the end of the day. That way I can, you know, have my day. And at the end when I read my horoscope, I see if it's like relatable in any way, just, just to see. Um, but this morning I just decided to read my horoscope first and it was really freaky how relatable it was to my situation. So it says, some families have always had to separate to survive. Look to their stories for advice on how to cope. And so, yeah, it's really strange because obviously this weekend I was supposed to be with my family who live in Canada, living like long distance from them. And it was just a very emotional weekend. And so it's really strange how, like how relatable that is to me because all I'm thinking about right now is like my family. Um, I don't really know many people who have separated to survive. I mean, they've separated cities, but it's not like oceans. I just thought I would share that with you guys because it freaked me out a bit when I read that. So I'm going to get editing because my video has to go up later and I also do want to take some pictures later. So hopefully I'll have time for that as well. Tuesday and I am back in my bedroom. Margo is working from home the rest of the week so I'm going to try and stay here as much as possible just so I don't bother him. And I had a nice slow morning but now I'm going to hop onto my laptop because I do have some things I need to get done today. I have to film an IGTV for Fashion Revolution Week and um, so I'm just going to organize that a little bit just so I know what I'm doing. <laughs> um, I'm going to film it at 12.30 when the workers go on their break. And then later today, I have a phone call with one of my friends. So that's basically it for today. I already had coffee and breakfast and I'm just having my second cup of coffee now. So I'm going to get cracking and I will see you guys in a little bit. 
So my IGTV for Fashion Revolution Week went really well. I also just had lunch and my call with my friends is going to be tomorrow instead. We all agreed that that would be a better day. So instead of doing that today, I'm actually going to cut my own hair. I'm a little bit nervous. I've never done this before, but I've been needing to get a haircut for months now and obviously I can't anytime soon. So I thought why not just save 90 euros and do it myself. I watched some YouTube videos so I feel like I know what I'm doing and Marco will help me later um, just to even out the back a bit. So yeah, I'm excited, a little bit nervous, but I will show you guys what I do. So welcome back to my very warm classroom. The lighting in here is horrible. And last time I propped up my camera here, it fell. So I have a towel in the sink just in case the same thing happens again. Um, I'm pretty nervous, I'm not gonna lie. I've never done it before but I don't have a lot of hair as you can probably see. Brush it and my hair is a little bit greasy just because um, I don't wanna wet it. I wanna see how it looks. And I feel like if it's greasy, it's a bit more weighed down. So I think it will be better to cut it. I don't know if that makes sense. So I'm gonna do it in two layers cause I really don't have much hair like at all. I'll just kind of stick this up at the top of my head and you know what worst comes to worst I'll just get help it's really not that big of a deal it's just hair I don't want to cut the whole length that I want just in case I make a mistake because then if I need to like I have a bit of a little bit of space <laughs> to fix it hopefully what I had seen is to like just keep pulling pieces forward when you put it back, it will be kind of like this. So then you just get someone to straighten it out a little bit. Cause I don't want that dip. It makes my hair look really like weird and scraggly. <sighs> Let's do this. And ideally I would like here, but I think I'm gonna go like there. Just, just to be safe. Mm -hmm. Okay, here we go. And apparently you're supposed to cut like that. Cause if you cut in a straight line, it's gonna be like too blunt. So. Let's see. I feel like I can't really see it though. It's weird. Ah, I'm doing it. Oh my gosh, I'm screwing up so badly. I'm just gonna have to go straight across because I can't do what the video showed. Oh no. Whoa, I cut a lot more than I thought I would. Okay, that looks good. I'm gonna leave it at that for now. Okay, oh, look. Okay, that looks okay. So then what you keep doing is you keep pulling forward. Like only pull from like halfway from your head. But, and you use that as like a measurement. Bye bye hair. and I think I will continue to just cut my own hair because I can save like 90 euros. Now I know it's not perfect, but I think only like hairdressers would notice. And the layers in the front ended up being really good. I know that my hair is really like greasy right now, but tomorrow is hair washing day, so I just wanna wait one more day. And if I need to, I could just make adjustments. It's really not that big of a deal. So this is my new hair. Woo, and it still fits in a ponytail, like so. Yeah, it's perfect. It's basically what I usually get whenever I go to the hairdresser. You guys can probably hear that. <clears throat> There's literally a guy like digging rocks and putting them on the roof. Why? I have no idea. Well, I just sat down as you would have seen. Um, I was going to edit my video. My video is not there. I accidentally deleted it somehow and I had to film it twice because the first time it was out of focus and now it's just not there so I don't have a video for tomorrow. I might see if I can 
you know, maybe do like a Q&A or something. I'm gonna ask you guys on Instagram. Maybe that will, that will save my YouTube routine. I realized I filmed like absolutely nothing today, but I got off the phone, called with my friends. We talked for two and a half hours. It was really nice. And I just uploaded my Instagram. And today afterwards, I was going to upload some stuff on Kleidekreisel, which is the online secondhand platform, but it's already, yeah, it's like 5.30. So I feel like I'm gonna leave that for tomorrow. Oh, but one thing I will show you, I did get a secondhand sweater in the mail. Just give me a moment. I feel like it just screams me. I love it so much. I feel like every time I show you guys what I'm having to eat, it's eggs. But to be honest, when we're lazy, we like to cook omelets. And tonight we both don't feel like cooking. So this is what we're having. There's three eggs in here. Um, and it's gonna be split in two. There's cherry tomatoes, uh, fresh green bean zucchini, and spinach. And then this is our side. Well, Marco's gonna have toast. I had toast for lunch, so I don't feel like bread at the moment. Um, and some red pepper and cucumber. Guys, look, I planted this, I think it's lettuce last vlog you guys would have seen there's some tiny baby sprouts i don't know if you guys can see oh but they're so cute good morning so this morning i just started off my day with some reading it felt really nice i felt like i was on the computer a lot yesterday so it was nice to not be looking at a screen and now i just came into the bedroom because mark was working from home and I just made myself breakfast, the exact same thing I've been eating all week. <laughs> and so I just wrote down my to-do list, so I thought I would show you guys. This is today's list to-do. As you can see, at first I said upload video, thumbnail, trailer, but because my video got deleted, I need to film the video today. I need to go to the post office. Um, KK is Clyde Kreisel. And then I need to take my Instagram photo and I also need to do a small grocery. So I think what I'm gonna do first is uh, film the video and my Instagram photo. And then these are all things that if I have time later, I would really like to do. I've been craving some yoga and I do wanna make a new vision board cause mine just disappeared from my desktop. I have absolutely no idea what happened to it. And also I wanna continue reading my um, book to develop my star chart. So I just finished filming my video and I think I'm gonna be able to get it up tonight because it didn't take me long to film. Everything went really smoothly, so that's good. Um, I also took my Instagram photo for the day, which means two of my things that I want to get done are done. And now I'm just gonna take a couple minutes just to add a couple things onto my Clyde Kreisel. Um, it's just something I've been meaning to do for weeks and I don't have time to do like all of it today, but at least if I get some pieces up, it will make me feel a lot better. project of the day I think I'm gonna clean my fridge <laughs> super random um, but I just did a little grocery of like fruits and vegetables and like bread and eggs and just like stuff that we needed um, but I noticed that, that it's a little bit like dirty and I have the time to clean it so I should probably do it now instead of a couple of weeks when I go back to work so that's what I'm gonna do I'll show you guys when it's all done and here is the after it probably doesn't look much different to you guys because our fridge was pretty organized but it's a lot cleaner if you take a closer look. <laughs> and as you can see, there's a lot more plastic uh, in our groceries than normal, just because we do like to play it safe with COVID and everything, so that is why. And then everything in our crisper is from like the last grocery, which we need to finish up so we don't waste any food. Hey guys, so I almost forgot to end the vlog. Um, but I was just uploading my YouTube video. It's finally going up. My computer has been so slow today, so it took me a lot longer than I had hoped, but uh, if you guys are learning, wanting to learn a little bit more about me, then definitely go check out my Q&A video. There's some really great questions, so thank you to everyone who sent them in. And I will see you guys next week for the next vlog. So I hope that you guys liked this video. If you did, please like and subscribe, and I will see you next week in my next vlog. Thank you.